Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a new Dead from T2 video. This is going to be on my looter build. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. Also, check for the social links like Twitch where I stream every single night and also the link to my Discord if you want to come in and just ask any questions. So anyway guys, let's get on with the video. All right, so we're gonna get straight into the build. As you've just seen, me taking down the tendril in like literally a couple of seconds. Don't get me wrong, it weren't a bloody tendril or anything like that. It was just a level 20 tendril. You know, you've just seen how easy you could take that on. If you had all the best items for this build, it would be extremely powerful. But I'm gonna like, I just use it as a looter, so I'm gonna teach you a couple of ways how to save a bit of money when buying your equipment as well. So first things first, we're gonna have a look straight at the skills and effects. Very simple, Jogger 5, Looter 5, because it's a looter, uh, Lumberjack 5, because we're using a chainsaw, Aim for the Heart 5 for the extra body damage, and Hunter 5. Now, you don't need Hunter 5. The reason I have Hunter 5 is when I'm doing the world missions, because sometimes they have bosses in. But, if you're not going to be doing the world missions and you're not going to be doing any bossing at all, then don't get Hunter get something better you know you can get you could get toughness you could get um medic or whatever it's called you could get a mule for carrying more stuff like because like i only have 35 inventory slots but i carry next to nothing so i can do okay loot runs with it and then for the final five i have got immune free and fix skin two now the reason i have these is if we look at the uh the shirt I have burn chance and infection chance. And on the trousers, I have burn chance. So that's why I went for immune free and fixed skin too. Because obviously the the burn chance and the infection chance you can get from AoE damage. Which we don't want either of them. So I currently have minus 91% infection chance and minus 90 burn chance. You can very easily get to these to 100 if you have the correct items. These are just some cheap items that I picked up. But yeah, so that's the skills and effects. Jogger 5, Looter 5, Lumberjack 5, Aim for the Heart 5. Whatever you want is that is the last one. I have Hunter 5, but like I said, you could go in Medic, you could go in Mule, you know, you could go in anything that you really wanted. And then I also have Fixed Skin 3 and Immune six, 3. Like, even these two, you could change these and get five in something else if you wanted. Same with the Hunter 5, but I personally just like these. So, I'm going to be sticking with them. Now, obviously, you know it's a chainsaw build. Probably wondering why my character's holding a shotgun. Reason being is chainsaws and shotguns work really well together. So, when the new level 50 content comes out, I will be getting the shotgun skill line. And the reloading skill line for the shotguns because these do work really well together and i'm going to show you now on the items why they work well together for your items right we're going to talk about the gloves and the hat so with the gloves and the hat you're going to want attack speed you're going to want body damage they're going to be your main two now if you want to save some money you don't need if you're only going to be a looter, then you want to gonna, you're going to want damage versus infected. Now, me, I don't have that. I have damage versus mutated, but that's because I do the missions. And also, if you want to save some money, you don't need damage versus infected. I don't have any damage versus infected on my boots. Uh, sorry, on my hat, on my gloves, and on the chainsaw. And you've seen how quick I drop stuff. Like, the, everything dies within a second. Honestly, you really don't need it. But if you want to get it, you can get it. But I, I don't advise getting it because you don't need it. So the main two, the only two things you're going to need is going to be attack speed and body damage. That's all you want, attack speed and body damage. So the reason the shotgun goes really well with chainsaw is if you're not going for the headshots, if you're going for a DPS shotgun build where you're just spraying and praying, basically... Attack speed works really well for it because you can shoot faster. Body damage works really well because then you don't really need the accu accuracy perks like um, maximum accuracy because you're just shooting them in the body anyway. So that's why I'm using the shotgun with the chainsaw because it works. Obviously, you could use melee. That might be, again, it could be a very viable option. But me personally, I'm going to go with shotgun. 
So you'd want chainsaw and melee or chainsaw and shotgun. They'd be your best two options. Take in mind that chainsaw does aggro stuff. Melee doesn't. So you could even go melee shotgun. But yeah. Chainsaw's a lot more powerful than melee, so I'm gonna be doing chainsaw and shotgun. So gloves and hat. You want attack damage and body damage, and then whatever you can get on top, you know, whatever you want, whether it's loot, like, you know, find ammo or find med uh, medical or damage versus mutated or anything like that or XP, whatever you want, then go for that. But just make sure you have attack speed and body damage. All right, so onto the trousers and the boots. Now, the main two things that you're going to want on the boots. Actually, the main one thing you're going to want on boots is, depending on if you're a jogger or a sprinter, you're going to want said skill. I'm a jogger, so I have jog. I have 18% jog speed. Now, a, a tip. This I didn't actually know this. I learned this the other day in stream when I was trying to find some boots with minus three incoming damage. Combat boots have minus three incoming damage. So if we have a look on here really quick, and we go to clothing, and here we go. Minus three incoming damage. Every single pair of rare combat boots, or any single pair of combat boots, has three, minus three incoming damage. So whenever you're getting boots, you want to be getting combat boots. Like, combat boots are the go-to ones. Obviously, if you don't care about the minus three incoming damage, then get anything else. But yeah, for the boots, get combat boots, and then get jog or sprint, whatever you want. Now, onto the trousers. Like, so this one's a little bit more, gonna be a little bit more expensive. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So you're gonna want incoming damage, health, jog or sprint, you know, whatever you're having, and inventory capacity. That's what you want. Like if you look at mine here, I have the minus incoming damage, I have the health, I have the jog speed. I don't have the inventory capacity, but I do have burn chance, which obviously goes with my thick skin to get my burn chance so high right there at 90%. So I'm sacrificing, like, obviously, eventually when I've got money for it, I will have inventory and the burn on it. So I'll have health, jog, burn, inventory, income, damage. That'd be my perfect trousers. So for, for now, that's what I've got. But yeah, that's what you want to be going for your trousers. Do you want health, jog or sprint, you know, whatever you are. Inventory and incoming damage. Onto the chest piece, right? The chest piece, super simple. You're going to want incoming damage. You're going to want health. And you're going to want inventory capacity again. But again, for me, because I have immune and fixed skin, I have infection and burn chance because of the AoE damage. So you want incoming damage, you want some health, and you want some inventory. That's that's all you need on your chest piece. Them three things. That's it. Anything else is a bonus. For me, I've got burn and infection. They're my bonuses. Onto you, your two weapons. Now... Your primary weapon. As you can see, I don't have any attack speed on my uh, primary weapon. And I still drop them cr like crazy quick. So you don't need it. It'd be nice to have, but you don't need it. It's not It's not necessary. I have incoming damage, weapon body damage, 34 health. So I've got three really good stats there. Like I said, attack speed would be nice, but I don't need it. Same with damage versus mutated or infected would be nice, but I don't need it. Because I've got like okay gloves and um, helmet. So, yeah, like, it, it shreds through everything anyway. Then on my secondary weapon, I'm using a shotgun. I've got incoming damage again. I've got some extra jog speed, and I've got some more health. So if you can get inventory capacity on that, even better. But that's what I'm rocking, because it's not my primary weapon. My primary weapon is my chainsaw. That's why that is the body damage. This is not, my secondary is not my primary weapon, so I'm not using it. The primary stats, I'm trying to get other stuff up, like incoming damage, jug speed, and health, rather than headshot damage and all that crap, or body damage or whatever, because it's not going to help. If I could get mutated damage on this, that'd be perfect. But how it is now works really well. But yeah, that's that's basically the build. There's not really much more I can say. I told you, you know, obviously try and get a backpack. The bigger the better, because it's a looter build. But um. Yeah, this works super well. I've been using this build on stream every single night. If you want to come check it out before you decide to you know, do a reset or make a new character, obviously jump in this, the, the stream. There'll be a link in the description below. I've been streaming, like I said, I've been streaming every night. I've been using this build because I'm trying to make my money. Obviously, I'm broke right now because I've just changed my main character to an SNG build and I bought him a, a Mac, 11, Mac 10 or a Mac 11 or whatever you call it. 
But yeah, this is the build. It's very strong. It works perfectly for what I'm using it for. It shreds stuff super quick. Um, so yeah. You don't need to carry much. I literally take two fuel, one stack of 12 gauge, and one paramedic bag. That's it. Super easy. Half of the time, I won't use it. 80% of the time, I won't use this, to be completely honest. Probably 90% of the time, I won't use this. Unless I do a bit of bossing, then I'll end up using it. 12 gauge, honestly, barely ever use it. The fuel, to be completely honest, I could probably take... Actually, I'm going to start taking one, because every time I go... No, I'll keep two. I'll keep two, just as an emergency. Every time I've gone out, before I've even got through 1,000 fuel, I've found another stack of fuel. Like, I'm never... Never seem to run out, but I like to keep two stacks on me just in case. So yeah, that's the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope it helps you and all that good stuff. If um, you're gonna, if you know, if you got any good information from this, make sure to give the video a like. Drop a comment below what you'd like to see in the future and all that good stuff. Make sure to subscribe to see future videos on this. Make sure to hit that bell notification as well. Don't forget to do that. And like I said, I've been streaming on this build every single night. So if you want to come check it out, check the description below for that. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Have a great time with the Twenty Two. Peace out. Thank you.